question. I know about me. Where do you see yourself in five years? Whoa. Old. <laughs> That's the great. Color. What's your favorite song? Andy? Color. <laughs> <laughs> and action. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Welcome to our mine, hers, our channels. Today we're going to be answering ten random questions that we just came up with. Yeah, that we just made up. Great. So I guess we'll just jump right into it. Question one. How old are you? <laughs> oh, you first. <laughs> I will be 32 in November. And I turned 29 in March. Even though I look younger. Question two. A random fact about yourself. You first. I am the only left-handed person in my family. Well, Callum might be left -handed. Uh, I hate getting haircuts. <laughs> I did not know that about you. You did it? No. Can you tell by these ends? <laughs> what do you have for breakfast? Well, if you know me well at all, or not even at all, I had oatmeal. I have oatmeal every single day, sometimes twice a day. Twice a day? I didn't even know you could do that. I had five bananas for breakfast. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> oh, sorry, I mean, I had five eggs for breakfast. Oh, we'll side of bacon and sausage. That's crisps. totally fine. Sorry. Question four. Do you want to read it? <laughs> How much can you squat? Uh... Well, I would say my son weighs 22.2 pounds, so about that much, probably. No big deal. <laughs> my current max, one rep max, is 240. 240? Yep. Dang, girl. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> How long have you been vegan? Since December 2015. I have been vegan for three years Sometime in March. <laughs> I okay. It was two. It was okay. So two and a half years. This March of 2017. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're still still rounding see. up a bit. We're still too far to say that, but uh, about two and a half years. Sometime in March, before my birthday, I went vegan. Round. <laughs> what area of the vegan lifestyle are you most passionate about? Uh, animal <laughs> liberation, for sure. Has it been that way from the get-go video? Yes. Even because um, I don't eat extremely healthy, and so that wasn't really, like, I think it's fascinating to learn how healthy it is if you do plant-based whole foods, totally, and people healing uh, a lot of diseases, but I only went vegan for the animals. What's she doing? There's no fluoride in it. There's no fluoride in it. That's fine. I would say that I am most passionate about the animal side of things the most, but I'm also very passionate about the health um, aspect of everything, and that's, for me, the initial reason why I did go vegan, but it's definitely shifted fully to how horrific the animals are treated and everything that goes along with that. Do you have a vegan idol or inspiration? Yes. Um, in the, I have a lot, but like the most prominent ones for me in my life were uh, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn Jr. He wrote the Prevent and Reverse Disease Heart Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease book, and yeah, one. one of the most prevalent doctors in this plant-based, you know, movement and. Um, now uh, there's just, there's a lot of people that are just, I mean, really foraging and really making the way and, and inspiring other people. Like, I have a whole Instagram list. I'll put some. Let's name a few. Okay. I follow a lot of fitness vegans. Um, Tori Washington. Tori Washington. Hey. Don Thompson. Mm -hmm. Badass vegan. Yeah. Incognito vegan. Incognito vegan. Hilarious. Yeah, he's Memes. funny. Um, there's this guy, his, his tag is Brussels Sprouts. 
like <laughs> swole Brussels, and he's just, he's really cool, he's really got a lot of different content, and uh, does a lot of memes and stuff, so, but yeah, I'll put some more down below, I'll, I'll get a list, because there's really a lot of people that, that inspire me day to day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, did I take yours? <laughs> Uh, mine, probably the main one was like Bite Size Vegan, uh, just because of her passion for it, um, for activism and the amount of research and time that she puts into her videos. Um, sometimes over a hundred hours per video. That's crazy. And so, like, she can't really have a job because she's doing this full time, so she really makes a lot of sacrifices and stuff and so she was very inspiring definitely in the beginning um and yeah it's hard to think on the one. spot huh yeah and other people like uh january harshi was i was following her from birth without fear and then she yeah. after she had her baby she went vegan because it helped her heal better and seeing how a mom with six kids, you know, and uh, did vegan, raw vegan, and just to see different sides of it was cool. Another random fact, because we couldn't think of a question. I had my first daughter three months after I turned 17. I thought you were 16. I was, like, barely 17 uh, when I had her, and now she is 12. <gasps> they, were, uh, they were pretty tall. They've been tight since birth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to see her in the in the window of the hospital. I'll copy you. I didn't have my first child until 10 years later when I was 27. Mm, how about that? I think that's I think that's cool. I used to be like, I don't want to be like an older parent. Yeah. And I want to be this certain age by the time I have my last kid. But then it's like after you have kids and then you do see like you do get older, you realize it's how much Not different it is. Well, no, but, like, how different it is. Like, how your mentality is different. Your yeah. patience level. Like, your... For sure. Like, no, world knowledge, I guess. Or, like, knowledge of Mainly, just Mainly, I just wanted, like, someone to push my uh, wheelchair around <laughs> when I'm old and make me smoother, so... Do you buy everything organic? Are you very strict about buying everything organic? Okay, I am very strict, but sometimes I do not buy everything organic. Well, she's having a One moment. Pause. Take two. Hey. Let's try that again. Okay. I am very strict about buying organic. Hmm. <laughs> but I do not buy every single thing organic. It, I think that it's better to have vegetables and fruit rather than saying they don't have anything organic. I'm not going to get anything. And there are some that are more important than others. Like the Dirty Dozen, Clean 15 lists are really good if you're buying a lot of food all the time. Um, that can help keep the cost down. I do skip some foods if they don't have them organic, like strawberries and apples and stuff, and that's kind of sad because they're... It's the probably best. better to just eat them anyways, but they... I read strawberries are sprayed with 23 different pesticides. So. And that's those accumulate in your body, I think, from what I've learned. I'm in the same... Were you done? Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of in the same boat. I really try to focus and buy as much organic as I can, but we're a family of six, and oh my God, I'm sorry. and we're at summer right now, so the kids are home all day, and it's like, I feel like we're in the kitchen 90% of the day, so a lot of the fruits and vegetables I will definitely try to buy organic, but sometimes, like, I do a lot of shopping at Costco. What about bananas? <laughs> I don't buy organic bananas. They're not that much more expensive. <laughs> just, just so some but, friendly you know, conversation. I think we, if I could afford to buy every single thing yeah. in my life organic, I would, but I can't. And so you just pick and choose and do the best you can. And like she said, it's better to have the fruits and vegetables, just wash them and, or peel them and scrub them the best you can than not have them at all. Or things that you eat. A ton you eat quite often, then get those organic. If you eat things occasionally, then it's not as big of a deal. That is a good point. Are you a nice vegan or a mean vegan? Hmm. I guess that depends on the day. 
As soon as I went vegan, I was an evil, mean vegan, and I wanted everyone to be vegan, and I couldn't believe that anyone wouldn't listen to me and watch videos of slaughterhouses. So now, nobody really liked that approach. They didn't appreciate it. So now I'm trying to be a nice vegan. Just wait until people ask me. I show them slaughterhouse videos. <laughs> I feel like I'm a nice person, and I try to be a nice vegan. Like, I try not to be pushy, but... If somebody, like, purposely offends me or says something just to be mean or is just super, like, trying to pick a fight with you. Kind of, or just, is just really, like, ignorant about it, and then I get, I get fired up. And I never try to be mean, but it's like, like she said, it's like when you're so passionate about something yeah. and you know when, when you finally That's realize true. what has happened, like, what's going on, and you can't. It's like she said, you can't believe that every single person is not outraged, and it's really frustrating, but you have to learn to, you can't, inter like, you can't take it all on yourself. You can just do what you can do. Yeah, it's like a waste of your energy to wait, to spend it on people that don't even want to hear it. They're not even listening when you talk or anything like that. But I take, I find it really offensive when people joke about it, too, and so yeah. I don't really put up with that anyone on Facebook if they post anything. I just unfriend them. So that works instead of getting an argument with them. Yeah. You definitely have to learn who is worth even talking to about yeah. it. Because some people, no matter what you say or what you show them, they'll just be like, oh, well, it's not like that or this is not, you know, ABC, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we're nice shit, nice, nice. Nice mean vegans. Yeah, nice mean vegans. Not mean nice vegans. That's better. <laughs> okay, so that's our ten questions. If there's anything else you want to know, feel free to leave a comment on either of our channels or our Instagrams, which I'll put in the information. <laughs> I always want to do this. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next videos. Peace out. Peace, love, and potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs>